Dear students, we have started discussion on artificial intelligence and in the last module we have discussed its introduction and the vision. And today we are starting our discussion on intelligent agents which is one of the core thing in artificial intelligence. So what is an agent? Uh, much of the research in artificial intelligence can be categorized in terms of an agent behavior, that how it behaves. And an agent is a device that responds to stimuli from its environment. It is natural to envision an agent as an individual machine such as robot. What are the examples of agents? Agent may take other forms such as autonomous airplane. So it's autopilot, a character in an interactive video game, or a process communicating with other processes over the internet, perhaps as a client, a server, or a peer. And how this agent acquire the data, and then of course after analyzing this data, it respond. So most agents have sensors by which they receive data from their environment and actuators. So actuators are their belongings. So we will be discussing about sensors and actuators in the next slides by which they can affect their environment. For example, the examples of sensors are microphones. So agents can use microphones to analyze, uh, to record cameras, rain sensors, air or soil sampling devices, and they have actuators like wheels, they have wheels, they have legs, they have wings, they have grippers, and they have speech synthesizers. So all of those kind of things are called actuators from which they can make the effect or from which they can respond or behave. So AI research can be categorized in the context of building agents that behave intelligently and meaning that the actions of the agents actuators must be rational responses to the data received through a sensor. So this means that most of the time uh, the AI research is based on agents and agents basic thing is the response and that response could be of different types and different levels. So for example, simplest response could be reflex action which is already programmed. So whenever you say, whenever uh, you see this thing, you should do this and that. So this is kind of a reflex action or pre-programmed thing which has been built into the robot. And there could be some intelligent actions as well. So adjust actions according to environmental knowledge. So agent can be made in a way that it sees that in this situation what I should do. For example, the process of throwing a baseball is largely a reflex action. But determining how and where to throw the ball requires knowledge of the current environment. Then there are level of responses. So for example, in some cases, agent's response improve over the time as the agent learns from its environment. This could be taken the form of developing procedural knowledge, which is learning how to perform, how to do in certain situation or storing declarative knowledge, which means what, what to do in this situation. So let's have an example of intelligent agent. We have a game in which we have different cubes, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and one cube is empty. So for example, we can, or we have made this agent that sees this image and tries to make it perfect. So this is the perfect location that all of these squares should be placed in this way. So maybe I can move this six downward, this five here, this five four here, this one over here and so on. So I can disturb the order. So then this agent will try to make it in the perfect order how it will do, we will be discussing in some of the next modules. So let's summarize today's module. We have learned about agents, intelligent agents, 
their applications, how they acquire data, what are sensors, what are actuators, what is the response time, and we have seen a small working example which we will be elaborating in the next modules.